I'm Alice Hayes from Tech City News and this is your Week in Tech. The Tech City News team are celebrating the launch of the Trumpery Old Street, a stylish new co-working space in the heart of Shoreditch. This week's investments racked up $15 million, with Noose raising $600,000 to crowdsource financial data from its virtual trading game. Communications startup MailCloud raised an impressive $2.8 million pre-launch to help tackle the overflow of information. And UK startup Metel raised a huge $12 million. The virtual changing room allows users to create 3D models of themselves to help with the challenge of online shopping. This week, American superblog TechCrunch was in town for Disrupt Europe, one of the biggest events in the calendar. Editor-at-large Mike Butcher chaired the first panel with the new team behind Google Ventures Europe, one of the most hyped announcements of the year. The morning after the announcement, I woke up to 700 emails. Hundreds of startups also took place in the weekend hackathon, with Infected Flight and Infectious Disease Tracker winning the £3,000 prize. MasterCard are tackling Apple head-on this week with a new card that has fingerprint sensors and NFC. The credit card giants partnered with Norwegian startup Zwipe, who make the world's first credit card with biometrics and contactless payments. The best news is that you won't need to remember a pin anymore. The new card was announced at level 39 and will launch in the UK in 2015. Google may have to up their game as Audi just broke the speed record for a self-driving car. The German car giant completed a Grand Prix circuit in just over two minutes, topping speeds of 149 miles per hour. While this is an impressive stunt, Audi are confident that their innovation will benefit the public in the future. Driverless cars could be on the road within a decade and help to reduce the number of accidents. If you're fed up of clunky typing, then our download of the week could be the answer. SwiftKey is a new keyboard for a new way to type. With features like swipe typing and support for different languages, it even learns your style and favorite phrases as you go. With Stephen Fry giving it its blessing and much more to come from SwiftKey, this could truly change the way we type. And finally, iTunes might need to watch out as NASA just released its own sound library. So if you're bored of your playlist and fancy drifting off to the sounds of Houston, we have a problem, well, now you can. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.